Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove apps on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now we'll show you in a couple ways to do it. First and the simplest way if you're new to iPhone is first of all, locate the app you want to remove. In our case, I'm going to go ahead and pick Adobe Express here, but whatever app doesn't matter. What you want to do is simply press and hold. So you're going to press and hold and this menu will pop up where you can click on remove app. And if you click on remove app, it's going to ask you there's two things you can do. You can remove it from the home screen, which will still keep the app on your iPhone in the app library. Or if you want to remove it, such as delete it completely, we'll click on the first option and then it's going to ask you to confirm and I click on delete and as you can see here this icon is gone and we have removed the app on our iPhone. Now that's method number one. Now for some reason you can't find the app. You can also search in the app library by the name here and that will also help you or if you see it here you can do the same exact process. We can press and hold. It's a long press and hold and then click on delete app. Or remove app. Now, another way to do it is through the setting on your iPhone. So you're going to go into your setting on your iPhone. From there on, we're going to go to general iPhone storage. And under iPhone storage, we can come down here and see all of the apps that are installed by clicking show all. And it's going to list all of the apps here as well. So you can see all of these apps that are using data on our iPhone. So if I wanted to delete an app that I no longer want on my iPhone, I can find it here. So I can see if there's an app that I don't want. For example, maybe I don't want HBO Max here. As you can see here, you can click on delete the app. Now there is another option of offloading it, which will free up storage, but keep its uh, data. That's another option as well. You can reinstall it in the future. And if you want to delete everything completely, you can do this option. So if I click on that, as you'll see here, it'll just offload it. And then they also give you the option to reinstall it later on if you want it. Or you can completely delete it if you don't want any of its data along with it. It will be gone just like that. So those are two different ways that you can go ahead and remove an app on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.